Norma Sklarik is a famous American architect. An architect designs buildings. There are commercial, residential, and landscape architects. Norma Sklarik, pictured here, said, architecture should be working on improving the environment of people in their homes, in their places of work, and their places of recreation. It should be functional and pleasant, not just in the image of the ego of the architect. Norma Sklarik was born in Harlem, but she grew up in Brooklyn. Her mother worked in a clothes factory, and her dad was a doctor. While she was a child, her dad taught her carpentry skills at home, building with wood, and suggested that she become an architect. He recognized that she was really talented at building things and designing things. Norma went to an all-girls high school in New York, then Barnard College for one year. She graduated from the Columbia University School of Architecture in 1950. She was one of only two women in her class, and she was the only African American. I like this picture because it shows how different work looked in the 1950s and 60s when Norma Sklarik was working. Look at all of the other people in the picture here are white men. They're all wearing white shirts and ties and Norma Sklarik is wearing a dress and she's the only African American in the picture. A lot of other people comment that there are men smoking in the picture. It was pretty typical for people to smoke at work in the 1950s and 60s. When she graduated from Columbia School of Architecture, no architecture firms would hire her because she was black and female. So she went to the Public Works Department, which designs streets, public buildings, and parks. She passed her architectural license test in 1954, and she was finally able to join an architecture firm. In that short time, from 1954 to 1960, she was then hired as the vice president of Gruen and Associates architecture firm in Los Angeles, and she worked there for over 20 years. While with Gruen, she was responsible for hiring, overseeing staff, and coordinating the technical aspects of several major projects, including California Mart, Pacific Design Center, Fox Hills Mall, and many other buildings. Because of her background in public architecture, her architecture firm received many government building commissions. This is an Indiana courthouse. Gruen was based out of Los Angeles. So across the nation, she was recognized for her designs. Nowadays, we might still think this building looks modern, but it's important to realize this building was designed over 50 years ago. Look at how you can see into the building through the glass. We still see designs like this in new buildings. If you don't believe me that this is an old building, look at those cars on the street. Those are some old cars. Even though her buildings look modern and contemporary, many were built and designed in the 1970s. Again, don't believe me? Look at those cars. I like this building for its blue color and that round front. I think this is a pretty unique building. I wouldn't be surprised to see this building built today. But again, this is 50 years ago. At the time, these buildings were revolutionary and futuristic. It is interesting to see how contemporary and modern they look compared with buildings now, 
and how they fit in with new buildings built now considering these buildings are 50 years old or more. This is the City Hall in San Bernardino, California. Here is the Tokyo Embassy. So she was hired not only for projects all over the United States, but over the world. L.A., Los Angeles, was gearing up in the 80s to host the Olympics in 1984. So they redid the airport to give it a more modern look for the 80s. She did the redesign. So this, this shape was her idea. They won the commission to uh, design the airport. She left Gruen in 1980. Gruen was the architecture firm she worked for previously to work on the airport project. After that, Norma Sklarik started her own firm. They never lost a bid, meaning that they got every job they submitted a plan for. That is unheard of for architects. Usually architecture firms are competing with many other architecture firms but when they would compete, they would always win. The, the people hiring the firm always hired Norma Sklarik's firm if they submitted a proposal. Norma Sklarik became the first black woman to be elected a fellow of the American Institute of Architects in 1980. Some of you might recognize the Mall of America. It looks different now, but you may not have known there were four different neighborhoods when the mall was built, and they wanted each one to look a little bit different. She designed one called the Courtyard of the Americas. One thing that stood out when it was designed was she wanted the lights to look like street lights. So you can see those in this uh, draw or in this plan here, and she also designed it so that these uh, walkways ran at diagonal lines. She wanted it to look like a neighborhood. Norma Sklarik is an important architect in American design. She was the first an, uh, African American female architect. She created many creative and modern designs in the 1970s. And she was the first African American female to be recognized across the world for her designs. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching the video.